Hello YouTube and welcome to another Windows tutorial. So in this video I will explain to you actually a very famous uh, disk utility called Crystal Disk Info. So are you ready? Let's get started. So actually in order to view the monitoring system that is included in most of the hard disk and also SSDs we use a program called Crystal Disk Info okay so if you open your browser actually and you type Crystal Disk Info the first page or the first actually a link you will get actually a program called Crystal Disk Info so this is a free program that you can download in order to monitor your disks so I will actually try to install it so I will click on this link here crystal disk info and the download will begin actually so the program is not that big as you can see here it's almost uh, 5.6 megabytes so let's install it and see what we get okay so this is my download folder so I will try to extract it or just install it by double clicking on the exec program okay so this is the license agreement so we have to accept it we go next then we actually leave with the default install parameters okay so uh, I will go next and I will create also a desktop shortcut. So let's install it. So I'm not going to launch it. So this is the icon for disk uh, crystal disk info. Okay. So first of all, let me see how many hard drives that I have on my PC. So I will right click on this PC icon on my desktop, show more options and I will go to manage. Okay. So after that, I will go to disk management. Just in order to see all the disk and partition that I have on my PC. Okay. So if my memory is good, I have actually five hard disks. I have one SSD and other four are HDD. Okay. So as you can see here, I have disk zero, which is SSD, and the other four are HDD. Okay. So I have disk one, which has actually two terabytes, and the other one terabyte and also the other one one terabyte okay so just to show you how many disks that I have now so I have five disks so now let's get rid of this computer management window and let's launch our crystal disk info okay okay so this is crystal disk info version 9.2.3 as you can see on the window title so here as you can see I have a bunch of disks so actually I have five disks as I have told you okay and here is showing me, me actually the partitions okay so you can see that some disks are good and some are on yellow which means a caution okay and one is actually a bad disk okay so we will try to explain that okay so first when you have this color blue it means the disk the disk is actually good so as you can see here good so here I have a couple of values as you can see in this table okay so for example for this SATA 3 disk which has a capacity as you can see of 256 gigabytes which is actually a SSD so the statute is good and the temperature is 40 degrees okay and here you can see in this table all the indicator are in blue color which means 
that they are pretty good okay and here for the column title you have for example here uh, some uh, values or attribute names and also some headers like current words threshold and row values okay so the current words and threshold are sort of uh, actually scores the higher they are the better that parameter is okay so it's usually better to just look at the row values but we will get in that in short okay so for the values current words and threshold they are vendor specific okay so the only rule that you must follow which is a very important rule is that the current value must be higher than the threshold so here you can see for example i have a lot of current values with 100 and they are higher than the threshold which is just 15 okay so this is the rule that you must keep in mind so the current value must always be higher than the threshold okay so for the disk one everything is okay so the health status is 100 percent so if i move on to the second disk which is actually here a two terabyte disk so as you can see here also we have the same thing but here also the current values are always higher than threshold okay so let's go for example with the third disk which has a caution so this disk has a one terabyte okay so it has a value which is actually uh, a caution so this is the value reallocated sector count so the reallocated sector count means actually the bad sectors okay and you can see here the current value is actually a little bit higher than the threshold okay so remember for the first disk which is good the value here was 50 and here 100 okay but for this disk with caution they are nearly actually uh, the values okay so this is why crystal disk info gave me a caution caution means that I have to back up my data as soon as possible or actually I have to pay attention to this disk it's not failing yet but it may fail soon okay so let's go now and see uh, this bad disk which has red icon here as you can see so this disk has actually two um, terabytes okay and let's see also the same thing happened to this reallocated sector count okay so here you can see what i have told you the most important uh, rule has failed because the current value is actually lower than the threshold and the opposite it must be but here we have the inverse we have the threshold which is higher than the current okay which means that disk is failing so this disk i have to replace it as soon as possible okay so this is why it gives me the help status of bad okay so let's move on to the fifth disk which has also a caution and we have also the same uh, attribute name reallocated sector count which the values is not 100 but this time is 97 okay so if you want to see all these values here and you want to get in depth of its meaning you can go to the wikipedia page so i will show you here so you go to wikipedia page and look for the self monitoring analysis and reporting technology okay which is actually a monitoring system included as you can see here in computer hard disk drive and solid state drive okay so here you have even a snapshot of the disk uh, crystal disk info but the most important thing here is there is a table 
which has all the values that are listed in our program Crystal Disk Info. So for example, for this here reallocated sector count, if you want to get the definition, so let's look for it. So I will go to Wikipedia and this is it. Okay. So it's count of reallocated sectors. Actually, when a sector is bad, the data in it is reallocated to another sector. Okay. So this is what they are, they are explaining here. The raw value represent a count of the bad sectors. So as I have told you that have been found and remapped. So the higher the attribute value, the more sectors the drive has or has had to reallocate it. Okay. And you can see here there are all the attribute name in the program. Okay. You can also convert that from this value here because it's in hexadecimal. You can convert them to actually a decimal value. So you go here to the menu of function and advanced features and here you look for row values so let me see what are row values and you convert them to decimal here we go and you can see now the value in decimal notation okay so always keep in mind one important rule so the current value must always be higher than the threshold okay and of course with these colors here, if the color are blue, it means your disk is okay. So for example here, if the color is yellow, which means caution, you have to pay attention to this disk and back up the data. But if the color are red, it means that you have to replace your disk as soon as possible. Okay. So that was just a brief uh, video to show you how to use and explain the different values that you can find in the Crystal Disk Info program. As always, I hope it has been informative for you and I want to thank you for viewing. Bye bye.